Hello and welcome back to the old golden black and I hope you've all recovered after Friday night's tense and exciting finish to the game. Uh, first of all I'd just like to come and make a comment on Neil Warnock's comment after the game. If you think about lack of class shown at the end of that game there was only one person for me who showed a lack of class and that was Neil Warnock with his very camp message to Nuno. I don't want to spend any more time thinking about that horrible man. <laughs> Over the last couple of days, I've had a little bit more time to digest the game and think more about it. And I put out on Twitter uh, that before going into the ground on Friday, I spent a good five minutes or so uh, standing outside and looking across to the Millennium Stadium and really thinking about the 2003 playoff final there. And there are a few parallels between that game and the game on Friday night. Neil Warnock, of course, was involved in both of them. But the penalty save was the biggest thing for me, that uh, the biggest parallel between the two games. Uh, and it did feel as if a little certain someone was keeping an eye on us on Friday night. But anyway, today's video is uh, not necessarily Wolves related, but it is to do with the championship, which of course we're all invested in at the moment, but hopefully not for much longer. So after the result on Friday night, I think even the most pessimistic Wolves fan would probably go as far as to say that we probably will get promoted now. The gap between first and third for us now is 11 points. Uh, the gap between us and Cardiff is now 9 points, although they do have a game in hand, but we'll come to that in a minute. And with Villa losing to Norwich yesterday as well, it means that only Cardiff and Fulham could possibly catch us. So we can't finish outside the top three, and it's just a couple of more games now until we can't finish below Fulham. Personally, I think this is the toughest race for promotion that there has been for an awful long time. There are so many good teams or big clubs in the mix. And there's a couple of smaller teams who are coming up on the coattails of good form coming into the playoffs. So it's going to be a very, very interesting next couple of weeks uh, until the end of the season. First of all, we're assuming that Wolves are going to win the league. And I think Wolves will win the league. I think probably two or three more wins from the remaining five games would cement it. Uh, of course, we need four points for promotion now, uh, which we could get this week with a draw against Derby and a win against Blues or vice versa. Or two wins, of course, would definitely do it. Second place is a really interesting situation at the moment. Cardiff are there at the moment. They're in second place. They've got a game in hand as well over Fulham and they're on 80 points. So that suggests that they're in the driving seat. However, they've got probably the toughest running. They've still got to play Villa away. They've still got to play Norwich away, who we saw yesterday. Could end up getting a result against them. Forest at home, Derby away in that rearranged fixture and then Hull to f at the end of the month before the last game of the season, they'll face Reading at home. Up until the last two games of the season, really, you'd say they've got quite a tricky run in. Hull, you would imagine, will be safe before the end of the season. Uh, Forest as well will be safe, but you know they're a decent team. And for me, the way that Cardiff are playing at the moment, they look really really tired I know I said that the other day in my video that they look like Leeds did at the end of last season where they just had thrown so much into the season that they were exhausted and they didn't have a plan B and that's what it feels like at the moment at Cardiff and so I'm predicting that Cardiff will drop out of those two places because Fulham are in such a rich vein of form and they have been since New Year really they've just been relentless in their results that they've picked up and yesterday grinding at 1-0 away at Sheffield Wednesday is you know, a really good result there. Not a particularly resurgent uh, Sheffield Wednesday but they had won the last three games so they were starting to get back into things. And Fulham's running you would say looks slightly more favourable than Cardiff's at the moment. They've got Reading at home on Tuesday before Brentford at home. Millwall away that will be a tricky game because of Millwall's form but then they've got Sunderland at home before Birmingham away on the last game of the season and with Birmingham's form at the moment they look as if they could be safe by then. And having watched Fulham not so long ago now, about six weeks ago, they looked a really, really good unit. The signing of Mitrovic has been uh, a masterstroke from their management to get a player who was out of favour up in Newcastle, to get him in and to make him into the key role that he is. And, and he scored a hat full of goals already so far and I back him to continue that for the rest of the season. And I'm glad that we haven't got to play Fulham now because they seem to have got even better since we played them. So now the playoffs are going to be a very interesting mix this season because what I'm predicting now, Cardiff will drop into that uh, six. So you would end up with Cardiff, Villa, 
And then it's between Derby, Middlesbrough and Millwall. I can't see Bristol City or Sheffield United managing to mount a challenge and knock Middlesbrough or Millwall out of their positions. But Millwall certainly are in a fantastic run of form. Again, since Christmas, Neil Harris has got that team going. We saw Wolves, well, both games this season struggle against Millwall. They beat them 1-0 at Molyneux, but didn't blow them away like they should, even though they were down to 10 men for a long time. And then to draw on Boxing Day down there as well was a a decent point in the end. And again, another team that I'm glad we haven't got to play. Now, the interesting point with the Millwall-Middlesbrough debate is that the penultimate game of the season for both teams is against each other at Middlesbrough. So we could see a straight playoff between those two in that game to see who gets that final promote, uh, playoff place. In my prediction of what's going to happen in the playoffs, you're going to end up with Cardiff, Villa, Derby and Millwall in the playoffs and it's going to be an amazing few games between those two, those four teams and it'd be very difficult to predict a winner but the way that Aston Villa have fallen off their form since they played us is quite incredible really. I think everybody who's at that game, Wolves fan or Villa fan or neutrals watching on telly, would have thought that from that point on Villa would have pushed on and got promoted. There was a bit of a sense of after the Lord Mayor show in the in the two games afterwards, but then with the international break, I'd imagine I thought they would regroup and come back. But apart from the one result uh, midweek last week, they've been really really dire. They've been really poor, and they're not going into the playoffs with the right sort of form behind them. And if they're going to come up against a team like Millwall, they could struggle in those playoff games. Now, Millwall could be a really dangerous prospect in the playoffs because of their form, but I don't think they've got quite got the experience or the squad or the the sort of I don't know culture to to go and win the playoffs. I could I could be proved wrong in a couple of weeks' time when when it's all said and done. But for me, Derby are real dark horses because they did have a bit of a blip around about January time, but in recent weeks they've started to just quietly pick up the pace again, a couple with wins under their belts. Quite a convincing win yesterday as well, albeit against Bolton. And they are my tips, I think, for the playoffs. But whatever happens, it's it's been a great season for me as a Wolves fan, following the team up and down the country and seeing us be so dominant for most of the season. And we just hope that we can see the see it over the line now with the next couple of results. And then we can enjoy the chaos that goes on in the playoffs and the battle for the second place, which is going to be incredible. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Don't forget to drop what you think might happen in the comments down below. And like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in a couple of days' time for a preview of the game against Derby County. Bye-bye.